Hey guys, I'm here in my kitchen with Christian, and um, we have had a batch of cold viruses going around yeah. at our house. Um, if you have a kid that is too young, like even Christian is almost too young to, well, no, you're eight, so yeah. we can use cough medicines with him. But um, I like to use natural medicine first if I can. I've kind of converted to that. So um, I wanted to show you how to make some cough syrup for those of you um, who have children that are above one. We don't use it under one because of the, the um, honey can get, um, you know, in a rare instance, there's been some cases of botulism from honey that was stored improperly. So we don't want to give it to children under one. But um, if you're wondering why honey works so good, honey and lemon together, honey has some um, antimicrobial properties to it where um, honey can uh, kill off certain viruses and bacteria and um, lemon be careful with that knife lemon is really good because it kind of um, not only does it have the vitamin C that we know about and um, lots of things that are antioxidants when we're sick and we need but lemon also cuts that phlegm down and there was a study and if you look up on the Mayo Clinic there's one um, in a study where children aged two or older with upper respiratory tract infections were given two teaspoons of um, honey at bedtime and it seemed to reduce nighttime coughing um, in fact the study appeared to be as effective as common cold suppressant ingredient dextromorphan, which you know that comes in like cough syrups, okay? Um, um, in a typical like over-the-counter dose. So since honey is low cost, readily available, and the other good thing is try to get a local honey, especially if you have a kid that suffers from allergies because local honeys, the bees collect the pollen from the honeys and it has a similar effect as if you know you did um, allergy shots, okay? So not to say that that would replace it if you need it, but it's just um, something to, to keep in mind. For us who are trying to do all natural, um, local honey works really well for allergies. Just taking a teaspoon a day in a cup, maybe with some apple cider vinegar um, or in your tea um, seems to help um, weight off those allergies, okay? So really quick, Christian's gonna cut some lemons up for me. This is just some, um, you probably, probably would wanna get an organic lemon that isn't um, all covered in pesticides, but he's cutting them into little fours. And I actually used this mixture the last two days for um, Liam and Naomi who had a cough, worked just like a charm. So you just wanna cut your lemons in a fourth, put them in a jar. This is some raw honey, um, but like I said, I would prefer local honey. We just haven't been to a farmer's market because you know we just moved here, not that, a few weeks ago. Um, so you would just fill this with the honey and you're gonna fill it all the way up with these lemons, cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Um, and it'll last a, a few weeks, a few, a couple weeks. Um, you know, you can tell if your lemons are starting to break down. But um, we just put it in there. Something else you can add to it is a little bit of grated ginger. And these almost act, they're really good. They almost taste like, um, um, like they've been, they've been not crystallized, but they're really yummy. Or um, for my baby girl, I just dipped it right down into the honey. Um, fed it to her and because the you keep the honey on the tip she took it just fine and got the the juices from the lemon it in the um, cough seemed to settle down at night really well the other thing you can do is um, if they won't take it like this I went ahead and made a concoction that was more like a like a watered-down lemonade I used this a couple teaspoons put it in a sippy um, I did add a little bit of turbinado in it and filled it up with water shook it and let her sip on that um, some of the things that I also use when they get sick. Oh, I wanted to mention one more thing. Um, I typically stay away from using essential oils for um, ingesting for children. Um, adults, that's a different story. And even then, I use them with caution. That we do are come in this card. And one would be digestion that's used for digestion. And it's just like, it's almost like drinking uh, concentrated parsley. Really good for settling the stomach. This one is on guard. And so one of the things I did because they were ill is take one drop, okay, of the On Guard and drop it in this. Gives it a really good flavor. On Guard is used for, um, it's just like thieves oil. Well, that was two, but that's okay. It's, it's pretty diluted because of the amount of, of product we're having in here, so I'm not concerned about it. You can also take a drop of that and cut some apple slices with orange juice and soak them overnight to protect your kids and help... Um, help them ward off any bugs. But um, 
On Guard has cinnamon, wild orange, smells fantastic, but this is used kind of similar to how people use elderberry um, tea or whatever. Um, we usually would drop five drops in a roller ball that looks like this is one for defense. I don't know if you can see it. I dropped five drops of On Guard, filled that up with fractionated coconut oil, and so I've been using that on their feet. Um, the studies on this is pretty amazing. If you want information about it, just contact me. Of how um, it helps. Ooh, careful, Christian. I'm just watching him with his knife. <laughs> um, good job. You know what? Go ahead and put those in the jar for me. And then we can put them in the refrigerator. Even this one? No, you, you can leave that one out, okay? Um, so um, the studies are, are pretty crazy um, about... It's not that it keeps you from getting sick. Um, it's that... It can shorten the duration and um, people's it, viral illnesses went from six to like two days okay where they were extremely symptomatic why don't you get a spoon and do that instead of the knife good job um, so I have noticed a difference when we're diffusing this or using this and for children always dilute it um, I put it in a rollerball <laughs> um, this rollerball kit is super cute you see the colors I'll come up close I got this from Essential Oil Supply, you know, oh, it's too dark for you to see it. But um, I'll, I'll shoot a picture on there. But anyways, um, it comes with a recipe book for you to use your essential oils and how to use them, whether you're combating ear, syndrome, uh, ear symptoms like pain, um, focus, um, things for seasonal allergies, whatever. So it has a little recipe chart and it even tells you from three to 24 months, only use one drop of what oil is safe, all the way up to six to 12 years and how many drops you can use per roller ball. And it comes with 10, I believe, roller balls and these uber cute stickers, okay? That are super cute, like uh, Focus Power, Head Potion, Tommy Tomic tonic okay and um you can i bought these separate where you get the color coded roller balls so they never can be confused with the kids okay if you have not started with um switching making the switch to your medicine cabinet and you want to add some um, natural uh weapons that you can use at home for example last night i could not make it to urgent care i suspected an ear issue with naomi i went ahead and made ear power and we just rubbed it around the ear, not in the ear, around back, massage her lymph nodes on the side. And I did that every three hours for the first day, today every six. No fever today, no tugging. She's a different kid. Um, Come today, buddy. Um, if you like today's message, like and share, please, please add to my Mom Saving, uh, Mom Saving Grace uh, Facebook page. I also have a private group for um, just essential oil stuff, but my Facebook page is more on... Uh, different tips and when I find a good deal at Target, um, me redoing rooms, but I would love for you to come on a journey with our family and share. <laughs> and if you would like to get a card like this that includes Breathe, Breathe on Guard, Breathe is like a natural decongestant on guard and digestion for tummy issues. This is great um, for people with chronic inflammation tummy issues. I love it. Um, I have IBS. I use that all the time. Um, or you can use on guard um, for when you're sick and breathe for sinus or allergy issues. So if you're interested in getting a sample card or you want to talk to me about starting your own oil collection, this has been the best month by far that I've seen in promos. We have 20% um, off of all oil kits, which is crazy savings. So, um, and then I have some special other savings like cash back and whatever, where you can get it probably at the cheapest price that I have ever seen um, to get you all the tools in your medicine cabinet. So you would be able to make little uh, roller balls for your family based on um, the top 10 oils and general issues that we normally have um, in regular ailments that we can treat at home. So. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'll be doing a lot more of these, and I hope we can take you along with us. You guys have a great day. Oh, my goodness. The cinnamon and wild orange in this tastes fantastic. So, so good. This has two drops of On Guard in it. Really yummy. Really good at soothing the throat. Forget that Zarbi's crap. Make your own.